I am going to show you how to paint um, a planner with some leather paint. Sorry if you hear any background noises. My son's right behind me and my cat is next to me and my dog will probably bark, you know, the usual. When you try to do something that needs quiet, it never works out. <laughs> but, okay, so I used the Angelia's acrylic leather paint in gift box blue and lilac. These are the four fluid ounce bottles and honestly I didn't even make a dent in this with completely covering one planner. So you could definitely go with the smallest one. You could honestly probably get a good 10 to 20 planners out of this color. A little goes a long, long way. So I then also used a Windsor and Newton 0000 Cotman 111 round brush. This brush is teeny tiny. It has not many hairs on it and it is the smallest brush I could find at Michael's. But right now I'm just showing you a slideshow of kind of how I painted it because let me apologize in advance, but the filming of this is bad. It is so hard to try to film this while you are doing the teeny tiny letters while you do not have a tripod. Yeah. I had to jimmy rig a little setup to film and trying to paint around the Kate Spade with my camera right in front of me was so hard especially on this rose gold it is so hard to tell where the letters are from the edge you kind of just have to go for the indentation if you paint a black or a pink red baja rose coral or green it will be 10 times easier to see the lettering but i've only painted the rose gold ones so as you can see i just went around the kate spade and the spade also uh, around the New York. I didn't film me going around the New York because I would have messed it up. It is so tiny. I almost gave myself many many heart attacks um, while doing this just because it is very nerve-wracking. But just do it. You can't really mess it up. If you do, which I think I do in part of the video a little bit, clean off your brush right away and with the damp brush go on the lettering and it should remove the paint but you have to do it while the paint's wet because if you wait until it's dry you're pretty much stuck there so I'll when you guys end up painting this you're definitely going to want to do thin coats you can see here this is the first coat of the lilac and it is thin you can still see the rose gold kind of under it so do two to three thin coats this is it painted when it's all done and this is about three coats later. As you can see, it covered really, really, really well. And the zipper, I used the same exact paint, and I went right along the edge, you'll see in the video, of the zipper and the black edging. And like I said, it covered it beautifully. This is the blue. The first coat can be sloppy as heck. This is the second coat here, and you can see it covered it really, really well. So all you do is you start out painting a thin coat and it doesn't matter whether you go up or down honestly I would kind of go in circles if you can just because it really works into the pores of the planner where if you're just painting straight like I'm doing here you can see it in some places it kind of separates when the paint dries and then you can see the little um, pores or indentations of the planner so you'll end up having to go over it anyways but if you work it in there it has a better chance of actually drying inside the pore and covering it a lot better. But like I said, your first coat can definitely be sloppy. It does not matter at all. But I mean, look, I'm going in every direction imaginable, mainly because, like I said, it was hard filming this. I'm not good at filming. Not having a tripod doesn't help. Mine's currently broken. And having a bulky DSLR camera in front of you makes it hard to paint. Especially the plate. That's why the plate's not done yet. But so I just go to the edge like you see here and I will take a baby wipe. Sorry about my head. <laughs> I take a baby wipe and go right on the edge again while the paint is wet. And it will just pick up any excess paint there is. 
and then I go back into painting. You'll see I end up painting a spot pretty thick. I mean, whoopsie. But just try to, I mean, even it out if you can. Don't have one spot really, really thick and the rest really light. If you paint it too thick, one, it's going to take 10 times longer to dry and it could cause an air bubble or it just not adhering correctly and it could easily chip or peel off. So I just do this whole process over the whole entire thing. And then when you do your last coat, you let it dry. I would honestly let it dry overnight and then do a top coat. The company that sells this paint sells top coats too. They have, I think, four top coats. One is a matte. Then they have a satin, a gloss, and a high gloss. Go for whatever one you choose. The original Kate Spades probably have a satin, and that's what I went with and um, it worked out well. Sorry, like you just saw a little bit ago, the camera moves and whatnot. Like I said, I'm not the best filmer, <laughs> but you'll see here, I go in between the lettering and it is very hard with the camera right there. So my hand gets in the way a little bit. I don't film me painting the New York part because I needed my head as close as I could to those letters because they are so hard to see. You'll see in a little bit that I actually mess up on one of the letters. I don't know if you'll actually be able to pick it out or if it just looks like I'm painting it, but I end up wetting my brush while the paint is still super wet. And with my damp, wet brush, I go back over the letters of the Kate Spade just to clean it up and get that paint out. If the paint dries on there, there's nothing you can really do about it at that point. But take your time with this. This is sped up, I think, four times. So it took me, honestly, it took me like, I want to say close to half an hour just to do the lettering and the front plate. It's definitely not perfect, but when it's hand painted, you, I wouldn't expect anything else. And as you can see, it is so hard to see like the lettering versus the edge. So you just have to find the indentation of it. <laughs> But it worked out well. actually where I messed up on the D. Some paint got onto the letter and you can see it just kind of flood over it so I just took a wet brush and went over the lettering and it just cleaned it up. So it's a really easy fix actually.
just showing where I have my other non-painted red Kate Spade Willisley next to my two new painted ones. So you can see there's probably just a smidge difference, but in all honesty, it looks pretty similar. Similar, Like, if someone were to see them from far away, I don't think they'd honestly be able to tell. But um, I just, I tried to focus on it. My camera's not that great at like close-up focuses, but yeah. So you can still see like all the indentations and the pores on the painted, although they are painted.